What's up Flipsters? You're wondering why I'm doing the recording and have this wonderful wall But it's not actually a wall because if you look here, there's a drip And guess what? Mr. Flip Mather himself is now in the hospital guys He was involved in a motorbike accident with the lovely wife Just a little bit, there we go <laughs> He broke, he snapped his right collarbone So now he's got grazes and scratches, so that show them your hand and stuff like that <laughs> and she's hobbling around. <laughs> but he is in the hospital now and he is going to take some time recovering, which means he has more time to edit and release vlogs to you guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the vlogs that have been coming out. It is four days later since the hospital and I'm alive. I came out with surgery. I was speaking to the surgeon and he says the technical terms is an ORIF right clavicle, which stands for open reduction internal fixation of the right clavicle. Basically plate and screws, titanium plate and screws, so you could call me a cyborg now maybe. I don't know if you noticed, from this shoulder to my neck to this shoulder, it was a lot shorter because the bone was literally broken and laying like that. It was quite painful. The whole situation sucks because I've been riding motorbikes for five years. When it's your time, it's your time because literally I was going around the bend, there was nothing I could do. At the end of the bend, there was a gush of water coming down and I just slid out and tumbled at about 80 kilometers an hour rolling on the tar got lots of shame Layla luckily got a little bit less worse off than me she was a little bit better off than me <laughs> that's the way my roast is on my legs that's pretty bad this is stinging so much and on this side over there and then this happened through my motorbike jacket it was so bad if I wasn't wearing the jacket I don't even want to know how bad it would have been the second camera angle vlogging with the camera as well yeah. It was so bad. Luckily we survived. We're on the road to recovery. Thank goodness. Layla's still in a lot of pain. Only two days later, like we checked Layla at the hospital. A GP checked her. We went to the doctor. We finally got x-ray and ultrasound scan. And turns out Layla's been surviving this whole time with two fractured ribs. So she's been a real trooper. Oh, you know what else is amazing? Let's zoom in on this part. Is the church we're in. It's been so helpful. Like I didn't even expect that this would be an issue. But making food and doing simple chores is hard now because I can only use my left hand and Layla's got bandage on her one hand and blisters on her ow, on her other hand making food is tough let alone eating it let alone wiping my and then what the church has done is they've given us a whole bunch of food like every day they've scheduled like this family gives us food this day this day this day and now we've got like we don't have to worry about food it's such a blessing so thank you to everyone who supported us and is helping us through this recovery process someone even gave me these roses Layla doesn't know who but someone gave me these roses and a chocolate so that I could give it to Layla for Valentine's Day because it was literally over Valentine's Day I got discharged from Hospital. I don't actually know when this vlog is gonna come out. It might be a bit late because the editing is also gonna be a bit of an issue. Last thing to wrap it up is look at my ring. This is my wedding ring. It's made out of tungsten, which is a very hard metal, and it's got so many scratches and broke over there. My hand only took that for some reason because it was on this hand. But then Layla, her engagement ring is 18 karat white gold, which is a lot softer metal. The only damage was the one claw moved over slightly. So wrap up all in all, still in a lot of pain on the road to recovery. Can't get the this thing infected and show you Layla's bruise. <laughs> oh no. And Layla's knuckles, look at that. She looks like Va from Arcane. Comment if you know what I'm talking about. You know, just before we crashed, Jaren and Abby, this guy and this girl, also was in a massive accident and they've been in a hospital and recovering with broken bones and stuff like that. What a coincidence, a week after each other. We're actually talking about them and we're gonna go and see them today. First time we've seen them since the last time we've seen them. Is they're moving into their new place. So we're gonna help them, not physically, because like obvious reasons. Reasons, you know, you may be thinking this is dangerous. I mean, it's not because the seatbelt's not touching my clavicle, it's underneath, but it's also easy access to the handbrake in case you need to like stop quickly. This is so dangerous. No, it's not because look, I've got one hand. And watch, can you go into a second for me? There you go. <laughs> it's like driving an automatic. I just want to say sorry mom. Both our moms didn't really want us to drive. I can see why. But I wouldn't have done this if I didn't think it was half safe. I didn't want him to do this either. Just saying. We're going to help our friends move. They need us. Okay. I'm on this. I'm on top of this. I mean look. I could even do this. I would lean no, forward. Grab. Don't. And then like change like that. You okay. see. It's, it's normal. <laughs> it's getting sore now. Do you want to drive? We couldn't drive because your knees were sore. Oh, your knees are out now. Flatting. Alright, my driving is better. There's Jared. Oh gosh, 
Shame, he just went through an accident. Must be hectic. Alex has arrived on his motorbike. Dang, I'm jealous. Oh, I got a vlog with my left hand. A little bit jealous because I really miss my bike and he's still got his bike. We're here to help you move. There's not much physical stuff we can do, but we're here to make it happen. Want to unpack. We're here to make it happen. Oh, thank you, Alex. You took the camera. Because if you didn't vlog it, did it actually happen? Did you vlog your accident? <laughs> 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 it didn't happen, actually. I'm lying. It's all a joke. <laughs> shirt you were wearing in an accident. <laughs> <laughs> this is my church shirt because it's holy. It That's so cool. I can stick my finger in. Yeah. Hey, there's more people. Look at all these fit working bodies. Hello. They're very curious. Oh, wow. But they won't attack. Oh, the cute ones are so cute. Okay, we've just arrived at the old place. We're just gonna clean up before we actually move because you can see the floor's really dirty. Yeah. Even inside the cupboards. Even the cupboards are dirty. Yeah, they're dirty. Let's check that. Oh yeah, it's very dirty. <laughs> Hello. No, okay, we really need to clean let's this go, place. Let's, let's find out. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> or you could see it like this place has got some cool cupboard features. It's voice activated actually. Like, can I please have a big roll of toilet paper? <clears throat> watch, watch it. Oh yeah! Hey, 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 listen to us! Oh boy, now I can go to the bathroom. <laughs> Sunny touch. Only use one wipe. One wipe <laughs> solves it all. This is all you got. If I had one wipe, I would do this. Double it over twice, wrap it around my finger, and then you hold it there, and you just... <laughs> you rip it and then there's like the skin mark there. <laughs> I've just been bandaged up. You can see Simon, my older brother, came and bandaged me up. But look at what I just found. So this is the shirt that I got crashed in and it made a whole hole in it. Look at that. But that was through this thing. This is a motorbike jacket that I was wearing and this is supposed to withstand full. And look, it made a hole through the jacket, through the shirt through my skin and my skin stopped it. What has 50 legs but cannot walk? What is the answer? <laughs> How do you know? It's 25 disabled people. <laughs> oh, We're still um, recovering at home. It's been about a couple days, maybe a week. Layla's roasties have gotten good. Look at that. No more bandages. <gasps> They're only tiny little scabs now. Hey, well done. Let me know if it's too soon to say this. Did you fall from heaven? <laughs> That makes sense. <laughs> I think it was like, did it hurt when you <laughs> or yeah, something you like that? Yeah, you messed it up, but I know what you meant. <laughs> I didn't mess it up. I just asked if you fell from heaven. You, you can connect the dots together yourself and know that you're an angel. At least our spirits are high. Yeah, I think that's enough. That's enough. <laughs>